The Social Plug visits the Grand Pacific Hotel to find out more about Fiji's Grand Old Lady. Located on Victoria Parade and situated on Suva's main seafront, the GPH has seen its fair share of famous guests and memorable events. Built to serve the needs of passengers on Trans-Pacific shipping routes, the design of the hotel was to make passengers think they had never gone ashore. For rooms in the GPH were like first-class staterooms, complete with saltwater bathrooms and plumbing fixtures identical to those on an ocean liner. The GPH itself was built on the landing spot for the original Suva village, called Univesi, after the trees nearby. Mr. Peter G spares us a moment of his time to tell us more about one of Fiji's most iconic hotels. <laughs> Yes, am I. Welcome to GPH. My name is Peter G. I'm the general manager, and I'm delighted at the opportunity to just tell you a little bit of our magnificent hotel. GPH was originally opened in 1914 by the Union Steamship Company out of New Zealand, and it was opened to service the needs of their passengers who were traveling on the Trans-Pacific route. So it was one of the very early hotels here in Suva. Um, we've had a magnificent history spanning over 100 years now, and of course, just as Fiji is the hub of the South Pacific, so GPH was really the hub of Suva. And so over the decades, we've had Many, many prominent famous people have come here. Um, writers of note include Somerset Maugham, James Michener. Um, everyone is well aware, of course, of the very famous visits of Queen Elizabeth. She's been here three times. Um, but not only the Queen, we've actually had something like five generations of the British royal family, most recently with uh, uh, Prince Harry and Meghan, uh, have come through our doors. We've also seen a pantheon of, of other well-known identities. So, for example, in 1928, uh, Charles Kingsford Smith landed in Albert Park, just opposite the hotel, and he and his crew stayed here for a week, recovering from this epic, epic flight from America. We've just recently found photographs of so Sir Donald Bradman, of course, probably the world's most famous cricketer, was here in 1932. Uh, and we continue to, to explore and find out more parts of our history. What people don't know, many people don't know, that in 1992, GPH closed down. GPH closed down for 22 years, and many people really didn't think it was going to reopen. They thought we'd either fall down, burn down, or indeed get bulldozed down. But thankfully it didn't happen. And in early, uh, about 2005, 2006, there was a consortium of business people led by Lamana Developments, with NAS Fund out of PNG, and of course our own very own FNPF, got together to resurrect uh, the Grand Old Lady. And it was done beautifully. We were restored with a lot of cooperation uh, from the National Trust uh, of Fiji, looking at the original plans, original drawings, and we've got this magnificent hotel that reopened 22 years after after closing and a hundred years to the day from when the hotel first opened. GPH has been opened or reopened now for coming on six years and I really think that we do live up to our motto to be the pride of Suva, symbol of Fiji and icon of the South Pacific. Uh, we have a very special place, a very special role in the community. In fact, interestingly enough, we're probably the only hotel in the world that features on a country's banknote, on the $10 banknote. Plus, we've been on a couple of sets of postage stamps. Uh, we, we take our role within Suva and within Fiji and indeed the South Pacific very seriously. We're very proud of the services and the facilities we offer. Uh, we've now been, for the last three years, we've got uh, TripAdvisor Traveler's Choice Award, which is only given to very few hotels, only about 1% of hotels in the world. Uh, so we're very, very proud to represent Fiji, to be part of Fiji. Um, and we hope that you get a chance to come along and experience yourself. Nakavaka Levu. Social Plug Fiji. 
click on the subscribe button to stay up to date on all our latest videos.